Hello and welcome back to The Quarry. So when we left off, we had just explored the office and our phone's slightly charged, but I think it's now time to hey, Dunza. head to the party. Cool, let's go. But they're not done. That's the thing. They're only like 30%. I don't Thank know you. if I stayed there longer, if that would change anything. I also relaunched the game to see if that would maybe help with some of the uh, performance issues that I was experiencing. And we shall see, which I do apologize for, by the way. But I also looked and it seems like this might be a common issue at the moment. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. Oh, they're they having their little moment. During painting class. You've seen my class? <gasps> Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's like all her. the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Just move. Which way should we go? Oh. Why don't you choose? Okay, so we're playing as Nick. So we have Shady Glade or Rocky Road. I do like me some Rocky Road ice cream. So let's take Rocky Road. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You like burning or whatever? <laughs> Still, I hate when they do the angle of like something enough? watching you in the woods, because I know there is stuff in the woods uh, now. Not yet. Okay, so we can walk around. We're gonna see like a stick we can pick up, or if I if I don't pick up a stick. Let's see, what does it say? Quartzite? <laughs> so this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves were in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. I would so I would- Cool. I wouldn't think it would be called a quarry for no reason. I wonder if that's one of those moments though where you kind of like play dumb, right? Because you like the person and you're like, Oh, I just want to listen to you explain it because I like the way you talk. Or is that just me? What does this say? Danger falling rocks. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. So which way do we go? Uh, I'm gonna walk this way first. I do want to try to find the tarot card in this chapter. Because I feel like I'm missing out. <gasps> the hangman! Speaking of tarot cards, okay. The Hanged Man. To be the Hanged Man is to surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. So it sounds like we need to be caught and used as bait. Oh. I guess the other path just looped around. Maybe we can double check. I don't think it hurts to just do like a quick little loop. And I believe there is only gonna be one tarot card per chapter. I mean, we only found one tarot card in the prologue, but also too, when we look, let me see, can I pull up the thing again? I'm kind of blocking it, but if you can see like right under my face, there is question marks, and the fool is right above it, so that makes me think that there's only supposed to be uh, the one tarot card for the last chapter, and I just happened to miss that one. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's over here. Shit. It's all right, calm down. <laughs> okay. 
So I guess there's falling rocks. And then this takes us right back where we were. Yep. Okay, so basically if we went... I don't like that sound. I don't like that we have happy music. I don't like that when the rocks are falling we have that like kind of creepy sound going on. Also too, why did the rocks only fall when we got right next to them? What happened to our sticks? Oh, here. Oh, we still have the sticks. Okay. Hmm. That loop was a little pointless. But that's okay. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, after I mean like camp. the future. You know, with your yeah. love life. Sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like let it happen, you know? What? Huh? Like whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. Does this mean none of my choices matter? I'm gonna say I'm not sure we're supposed to know. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so... convenient. A little so? bit. Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. Hmm. That is actually an I mean, interesting well, it's, perspective. It's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no. Totally. Yeah. They're so awkward but cute. So far, best uh, pairing. And... They're not, so, like I said, the other two were both wearing green. The only thing they really have in common, so he's wearing, like, black jeans, she's wearing, obviously, like, a black shirt, and then her hair is red, and he kind of has the red, so they kind of have, like, a red. So we have, like, the green and then the red. I didn't pay attention to the other colors, though. Okay, I know that's the way we're supposed to go, but what does this do for us? Anything? Or was just like, this is just another way we could go around. I feel like my... I mean, we already found the tarot card. But I feel like I'm slightly paranoid that I'm going to miss something if I don't explore every... Excuse me. Thank you. If I don't explore every path. Like here, right? You can keep going. Or, look, you can walk over here because this is there's a little dirt path that... We actually can't get to. Okay. Uh, there appears to be an invisible wall. So, down we go. Which, that is also kind of sucky. There's no escape. So, so. I'll grab my I know where we are. <gasps> where yeah. are we? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. I've got the music. This view is just wow. I was just gonna draw it real quick. One thing I really want to get back into is like art. And I really want to get like an iPad because I feel like digital art could be really fun. Playful? Okay. Yeah, I say let's be sincere. I feel like that's the approach Damn, to, Abby, like, with these you're two. Really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. No. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Yes, I can see. 
Um, I painted yeah. a little bit, but that's about it. I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? That is I'm true. sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just don't know what. Mm. It's undecided about school. You'll figure it out. I definitely knew a couple people who went through that in college. They started one major. And then they switched. Also, I can tell this is cutscene cutscene because her hair looks a lot better. Is that a pig? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. <gasps> Look! So, is that so a baby funny. hog? Don't pick it up. Oh my god, he's so... Does he have blood on his chin? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh... Say Abby. Okay. Don't breathe, okay? You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch okay. the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. So how does this actually work? Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. So death. How does okay. Oh no. Listening? Oh, I'm listening? Is it still here? <laughs> oh, that was too early. Or was that not too early? Jeez. Oh, I thought he was close. gonna die. He almost just mowed me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna be. No, we're not gonna be. Pig this never a good story to tell a pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Oh. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. Oh, got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> I don't know if I did that right or not. Um. Well, there's our music again. Yeah, the hair animation's still a little guess we should off <laughs> in some instances. And I guess we're carrying all the sticks now. So Caitlin's alone. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. But I think we saw someone in the treehouse earlier. So... Like looking that way, we're not gonna see anything, but as soon as we look in the treehouse, we're gonna like see someone, right? No? 
I, but didn't we see someone earlier? Looking through the window? Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His uh, eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? No. Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh... Dylan just wants what's things going to be on spicy. Here? Everything ready? Um, I want to talk about the the treehouse, uh, actually. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. Well, what's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized I we may never see Dylan. each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists hmm. don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. I wonder if, Yikes. um... Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Ryan's relationship Just status is like a determinant? We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. But I don't know. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The hog of Hackett's Quarry. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's Quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> okay. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. I mean, it had to be done. I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> Ryan Special thinks you're- Oh. Delivery. Well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Oh, uh, it is real. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. I mean, there's and, the other one. And we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Oh, pop, Lord. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. Like, right, these... Those are spoken so for. You can't chips. just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Oh, they're about not to get killed. Absolutely not. No. They're going to attract so many things to them. We already got the fireworks. Now we're going to have some nice uh, pop pops in the air. Yeah, I'm going to say this is not a great idea. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the Butter Pops as like an act of charity or something. Oh, now he's going to say Fine, I don't want them. Yeah, boy! <laughs> or they're just going to shoot anyways. Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, Wait, is she loading it? Die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Oh. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but but either be dicking around. I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. I don't think they're going to be good. <laughs> Something uh, tells me they are not going to be good at all. Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman. <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp gear. I'm just letting you know, I'm just letting you know. 
that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. Oh, no just way. what? You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, oh, good. I did not now mean I'm to be in sync with him. Now I'm going to and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. What the heck? So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was cute. It was a moment. Actually, I want to know what his thoughts were with the thing Fun. with Emma. How was your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long distance thing. Is that what she wants? How would I know what she wants? Well, I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> I could ask. <laughs> That's funny. Well, speaking of, let me show hey. you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you I don't know how I feel about Jacob anymore. Your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please just give me the gun. Uh uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're gonna do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, okay. then Jacob's turn. Okay. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This okay. is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight got shows it. you where you're aiming. Obs. Okay. Flashlight shows us where we're aiming. Remember the... F the recoil, remember the spread. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, but we still just kind of aim okay, it. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay. <laughs> All right, Nick, this time for real. Oh wait, am I supposed to shoot those bottles over there? Nice. nice shot. Okay. Um. Can I shoot the watermelon? Lucky. Okay. Um. I just we just, we just keep going. Uh. Boom. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. Look at us. Nice. Let's see what you got. All right, you might want to, uh... Oh, I don't eyes, trust Nick. you with a gun. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right, just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a Ooh. rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay, you probably would have missed me anyway. Hey! Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No! You literally... You pointed a loaded gun at them. And then you were. Sorry, oh Jacob. my goodness! Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time. Hey, I didn't <laughs> want to say it, but you're both very mean. Now he's pouting. Blam! You thought this was over? What the? Whoa! Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pots. We're gonna keep going. I waste all of our ammo. Nice. And now we're Ryan again. Which I thought he would stay inside after our choices earlier. Conversation yet? Never mind. Okay. New idea. Party game. 
Okay. Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Okay, what is Dylan style? Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, okay. then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like normal truth or dare? But. Yes. So we can like make people kiss? If they choose oh. dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. They're like, I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but. Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so. Brian. Abigail. Never mind. Truth or dare? Um. Truth. Truth. Yep. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Is it true, like, Have Nick? you ever slept with anyone? Never mind. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, interrupt. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, Freaking Jacob. Have you ever oh, slept Dylan. with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna go to... All right, to... okay. Um... Oh, Abby, oh my god, yeah. just pick someone. Caitlin, shh. Okay, okay, shh. um... You're taking a moment here. Uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Uh... Ryan, I think, would choose truth, but I kind of want to see what the dare yeah. would be. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Okay. Can you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlyn... Or Dylan. Or Watch. Dylan. Wow. Yep. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Okay. I had a feeling that his, like, relationship status was going to be determinant. Now, here's my thing. I don't get the vibes from him and Caitlyn. Like, at all. But I feel like Dylan's an interesting choice. Dylan, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is, I feel like, I don't know if this is the canon choice. Always happy to please. Woo! Dylan looks, Dylan looks happy. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Um... I want to go with Caitlyn. Caitlyn, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Okay. Ever hooked up with Jacob? I feel like that's just going to cause some stuff with Emma. But let's cause some stuff so with Emma. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Sadly. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever, uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But oh, that's it? it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo. Still love you, bud. <laughs> Aww. Okay. My turn. <laughs> Dang. Emma. There. Wait, am I gonna go again? So you have to kiss Jacob or oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> but they, she can't do that to well, Abby. Um, 
Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. She's gonna do that to Abby? M? Seriously? Okay. Guys. Guys! Bruh, what the hell? I mean, his eyes were open. So that, that's, that's, that means maybe? He's good. Yeah, Emma, you shouldn't have done that. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Honestly, <sighs> screw well, Emma. We probably go after him. You no one's gonna go after Abby? Abby. Oh, Nick's gonna have to go after Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? Shall I even have the stuff to play Parcheesi? So we have the little love triangle left, and everyone else is gone. The devil's gonna come when the sun go down. We didn't even hear him. I don't know if there was supposed to be audio there, or what? Like I said, enjoying the game so far. It's just these, like, interesting, like, stuttering and audio issues. Kinda making things a tiny bit difficult. If y'all know what I mean. I got the card this time. Welcome back! I am, as always, delighted that you're here. I got the car this so, time. Then. Oh. What more has been found? Let me do the pause fix. We found the hanged man. The hanged man. <laughs> to be the hanged man is to surrender. And by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you, if you'll let me. Yep, I would like to see my premonition. Let us see more, shall we? So what is the hanged man alluding to? Literally, that's all I have to say. Jacob for now. hanging. Secrets remain buried, and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. So Jacob had a knife in his hand, and he was hanging. So at some point, if Jacob's probably going to get trapped or captured. And he, I guess he pulls the knife off the guy? Hmm. And we are now in chapter three. What are how many chapters there are? Are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Because that was a very Maybe long, passionate anybody. kiss. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Okay. Well, I'm going to pause this because I would like to stop this before we get too far into into chapter three. I figure one more, you know, stopping it here would be an, or this is a very nice stopping point, I should say. So. 
without further ado, I hope you have a good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time of the day it is when you're watching this, and I hope to see y'all next time. Peace out.